Undertaker ready? Gunners ready? Set. Robotics has moved from clubs to classroom at Beatriz G. Garza Middle School. Because of a growing interest, the middle school is now offering two robotics classes. Gunners one. 15 seconds. Seventh and eighth grade students not only can participate in after school clubs, but can take a robotics class as an elective. First of all, they are being introduced to some basic programming and through the Lego software, they're able to, you know, do simple commands like telling the robot to move forward, telling it to turn. And, and again, the idea is just to get them exposed to learning how to use their computer to tell the robot what to do. Julio Trevino and Michael Vasquez are in charge of the class. They say not only do students design and build robots, but the class increases student engagement and collaboration. We have to figure out how to program our, our robot to touch the white line and go back. And once we programmed it, then we, we, uh, we have to figure out the rotations. And each one of us has a different rotation, so that'll make it different from all. Ready, SYG? Yes. Set. Go. A sumo robotics competition was held at the middle school in November to prepare students for next year's competition. Winner, SYG. The seventh graders competed against the eighth graders in a best two out of three challenge. Each team was given the chance to show off the robotics unique programming. Undertaker. The approximate time was about probably a week because I had to think about different ways I can make it. The front is specifically made so it'll lock on so I had to make things in the front to block and then something to block my light sensor so the light sensor is the most important because if I don't have it it would just run off the circle. Winners advanced to the next round while the other participants were given a chance to reprogram and compete in a consolation bracket. Teachers say challenges force students to think out of the box quickly and under pressure. Getting them to learn how to problem solve without necessarily having an instruction manual. So they won't necessarily have, okay, this is what I need to do. It's more of an open, uh, open, I guess, ended kind of uh, thinking uh, where we're really trying to get them to understand, okay, this is the problem. How do I solve it? How do I get to that point? B. Garza's principal, John Garlic, says he likes to visit the robotics team because the students are so enthusiastic. This is all good for them, not just in robotics, but there's a lot of crossover to the other classwork where they're having fun, they're solving problems, and they're not thinking about it, but they're actually learning steps to problem solving, steps for, that, that'll apply to the scientific method in science, and they're having fun doing it. He says they added the robotics program to the school's curriculum because student interest grows every year. Garlic hopes it'll continue. Seventh grade student Sabrina Turner hopes more girls will join the class. A girl can do more than a guy sometimes. It, can, it proves to all the guys that not only robotics is a boy sport, something like that, that a girl can be competitive too. For a teacher, there's nothing better than having students really be interested in what they're learning. And, and that encourages us to know that we're having an impact on what they're learning in their, in their daily lives. The staff at Bee Garza Middle School knows that careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, what is often referred to as STEM, are on the rise. They say allowing students to take courses like robotics is an effective way to prepare them for careers in the future. The robotic sponsors say they hope to turn students' excitement about robots into a passion for learning. I'm Heather Arevalo reporting for KWAS TV. Winner.